It's your boy Superman 2000. I'm in the fight mobile, man. On the way to take care of some business. You know how it is. Now, this is regular chill business. This is not no, no client hard work business. I'm done with that for today. I think I'm going to rest, recoup, and then around 6 or 7 o'clock start again. But I always got to take some time to prep and get my research in. Because UFC 216 is rolling down on us. I want to look at that card, see how it's going to pan out. No. Michael Bisping is saying that his fight with George St. Pierre might be his last fight. And then George St. Pierre is saying that his fight with Michael Bisping might be his last fight. Something's up. Two guys going to fight. And then they're both planning to retire after the fight. Mm, I don't like that. That's not a good vibe for me. I just don't like that. That's a huge truck. That thing hit me out of being crushed to pieces. So it's always good to look left and right even before you drive out with that extra second before you pull into oncoming traffic. See? I clear what that's the way the extra second. So in case anybody, like a motorcyclist or a random old lady who's hot, uh, hot lead foot decide to gas it, she won't kill me. All right, here we go now. So, I don't like the fact that both sides, guys said they're gonna retire. No, to me, it seemed like Bisping is ducking some of the guys in the division. And every time you hear him start talking, nobody says he's ducking, he just brings it up. So if you keep bringing up the fact that you're ducking, I'm not ducking, I'm like, are you ducking or not? Now I start thinking about it. It gets weird. I just don't know. Real kind of crazy weird. See, and that's the part that that, that, that that just throws me off. So this being last fight is not going to be against a Yoel Romero or against the interim champion. It's not going to be of anybody of like super substance. It's going to be of George St. Pierre. Don't get me wrong. GSP is good. But uh, he should be fighting Tyrone Woodley. That's who he should be fighting. Now that would be a fight. That would be a fight. Because Woodley, Woodley would come 100% and be exciting. He would be challenged to raise the bar. And he will want to throw down to prove a point. To Dana White and the UFC and the fans that hey, I I I I can give as good as I get. I can tear him up. They're both wrestlers. They're both good boxers. That's a matchup. Good box. Say almost the same body style. I mean, that's a fight I want to see. GSP versus Bisping. Hmm. No, I don't want to see that one. What I want to see is Bisping versus the interim champion. That's the one I want to see. You know, that's more uniform. As a fan, that's more consistent. But it seems like the UFC is running out of ideas since John Jones is down. And everybody knows Daniel come here style of fighting. Fight you, push you down, lay on you, and then submit you. Or push you down, lay on you, then fight you. So that's, start, that's start starting to get old. And with John Jones not coming back, and Conor McGregor off in boxer, boxer la la land, it just seems to me like they're going to be doing more of these hype fights. This is why Ronda Rose's coach is trying to push for Rose versus Cyborg. Which is a horrible idea. I don't want to see her get her jaw broken this time. Or, or beat up real bad. Just got married and whatnot. So I, I don't want to see her get her banged up. Now, to me, I think Bisping should fight the interim champion. And stop dodging out. Because these divisions are getting held up for so long. Now, if he fights GSP, who's the interim champion going to fight after he recover from his kicked back knee? The knee surgery. But what's going to happen then? Then we're gonna have to wait again for another. So, so it's just it's just being held up. We want to see things moving consistently. We want some consistency in the division, and we want to see the fights get done. That's what I'm thinking about. All right, guys, peace out. My two cents from the fight here. I gotta do some more show prep when I go home. I'm just excited because I'm taking some time off. I know I'm, I'm cranking out the videos one by one. Like I said, I gotta put my thoughts together. It's the ADD thing. All right, guys, peace out.